A big thanks to Masterbuild for sponsoring this video. Hi, I'm Pitmaster X, and today I'm going to put Europe's most popular flavorizer on steak. If you live in Europe, chances are you grew up on this stuff. It is something magical that your mother put into every recipe to make it taste better. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think you do. This is Maggi. Everybody knows this jar. They even had this on the table in most restaurants. So you could just add a little bit of this instead of, for instance, salt or pepper. A long time ago, the company Maggi originated from Switzerland. There they started creating flavorizers that you could put on food. And eventually they put it in this jar with the red and yellow label, which is now extremely famous. And back in the 80s, everybody used this. This was the only thing you would ever need to make something delicious. Basically, it's the MSG that I grew up on. And today I want to see if we can put this flavorizer and mix it with my favorite food, which is a steak. <laughs> and of course, I dry aged a beautiful steak that I can use for my experiment. I want to see if I can replace salt with mahi. This is a beautiful black Angus steak. Great marbling, nice fat cap. It's the perfect steak for my experiment. And this is mahi. It's the magic ingredient that's going to work perfect as a replacement for salt. So now I'm going to take my steak, put it in a container, pour that mahi all over it, and I'm going to make sure I fill it up all the way to the top until the steak is fully submerged. And then it's time to lock it up and put it in the fridge. This steak marinated for four hours now. Ooh, wow. Instantly I can feel that it turned solid. I think there's a lot of moisture loss from the steak and it's been replaced with the flavor of the mahi. You can see it from how slowly it moves when I flip it over. It's completely firmed up. And normally with a thick steak like this, four hours of marinade is absolutely perfect. But now I'm thinking maybe it could have been marinated for a shorter period of time. Either way, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of flavor in the steak now. I'm going to be cooking this steak on the master build. This is a gravity fed grill and you can see that by this chute from which the charcoal is gonna drop down into the fire and it's gonna get crazy hot. First, I'm gonna load it up with charcoal, then I'm gonna light it up. And once the flames start shooting out of this grill, it's ready to start cooking. Now I'm gonna put on my two steaks. I got the marinated steak and I got my reference steak. So both go on and we're gonna get a quick sear on them. Once I got a beautiful sear on both sides, I'm going to place in a rack. And I'm going to be cooking these steaks on a low temperature at a high position in the grill. When I started off cooking these steaks, they looked very, very different. But now, when they're both fully cooked, they actually look quite similar. But I can still smell the difference. One smells like beef and the other one has that strong smell. It's almost like Marmot, that stuff that in Australia they put on sandwiches and they put in food and everything. It's almost like that. That's what I'm getting. Let's slice into this and give this a try. Looks pretty good to me. The color's not there anymore. We don't get that really dark red. Still a very juicy and tender steak. My reference steak still has that pink that you would expect from a steak. Of course, my reference steak is gonna need a little bit of salt. And this is a finishing salt, so it's absolutely perfect to season your steak with afterwards. I'm gonna give this the first try. That's a tasty steak for sure. <laughs> Mm. Now I'm gonna try the Maggi steak. Is it gonna be magic or is it gonna be the most epic fail ever? I don't know what to think of this. It's actually, it's the nice salty experience that you get. It's not super heavy in flavor. It's almost like MSG. It's like, it really is 
stimulating the taste bud, buds in my mouth, but it's not bringing out the beef flavor as much as I would expect it to have. It's a bit weird. And if you would feed me this steak without me knowing, mm, eh, I don't know if I would like it. So I came up with an idea to test exactly that. My friend Mitchell doesn't know we cooked the steak. He doesn't know what's on it. So he's gonna try this and he's gonna try and tell us what is up with this steak. Check, check, hola. I was called here because uh, apparently something special is going on. So I'm gonna try with this one first and then um, I'll, I'll just see what happens, I guess. Rules are laughing really uh, smirky towards me, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Mm. But this is good steak. Juicy, tender, salty. So now I have to do this one, I guess, right? It smells a lot different. It smells very intense. Let's go. It's salty. Um, has a bit of an umami flavor to it. Yeah, it's a bit salty, but otherwise pretty good. I like this one better. Are you disappointed with this answer? <laughs> so, do you think you can tell what I marinated the steak with? Because the umami is pretty good. It's something your mother used a lot. Is this mahi? I shouldn't have said that. It's proof that every Dutch mother cooked every, with mahi. We all grew up on <laughs> mahi. <laughs> it's a totally proven concept. Yeah. Had, yeah it but has you that... didn't, it's not like you didn't like the steak. No, it has a, it's, um, the smell is more intense than the flavor. Yeah. Like when I smelled it, I was like, ooh, I'm not sure about this one. But, but it's, um, it gets, the taste gets more intense the longer you have it in your mouth. Yeah. It's so, like, like, do you also have like the jaws? Yeah. Doing this like, that's the MSG probably that's in this. Yeah, it like the, the saltiness gets heavier uh, each time you're chewing it. Yeah. So I prefer the regular one, but this one's, I mean, it's a good It's steak. not a bad steak. It's not a bad steak. And I totally agree. It's not a bad steak. It was a fun experiment. Would I repeat this experiment? Probably not. Mm. No. I wouldn't make this at home, I think. No. Kind of doesn't make sense. No. Doesn't make the steak any better. I like steak the way it is. Just a little bit of salt. This is absolutely perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thank you to the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then. Eat smartly. And keep on grilling. Now you gotta go. Because I'm taking one like, of these. There's another video here. You should click it. Yeah, they should. Watch but it. You, um, you took the best part of yeah. the steak.